Being on the radar is certainly a sight for sore eyes. We've had a very dry October, but this morning you're going to wake up to some puddles out there, some wet roadways. We've had showers off and on overnight with around a quarter inch of rain here in Lima. Still have some showers on the radar this morning, especially off to the northeast around Hancock County, up toward Bowling Green. Steady showers there. Showers are starting to decrease now in Lima. We've just had some very light rain off and on over the last hour or so. We can see there's a bit of a lull now developing, so not too bad for the next few hours. We may get a bit of a gap here with only a few showers, and it looks like one more kind of the tail end of the system will work in around midday before the, everything moves out as we head into the afternoon. So rainfall totals, we've had around a half inch in areas off to the west, parts of especially western Van Wert County up through Paulding, Defiance. These were kind of the winners here with the heavier totals. As you get into the Allen County area, we've had around two tenths of an inch, some spots a little more, some spots a little bit less, but around a quarter inch or so. And then off to the east, those totals have been very unimpressive so far. So again, nice to see at least some moisture, but yeah, we could still use quite a bit more as again, we're running a deficit of over two inches here since the late part of September. So keep in mind this morning, as you head off to work, there are a lot of leaves on the roadways. We've got the wet roadways, and you have all the leaves that have been coming down with the rain. And just keep in mind your stopping distance will be a little bit further with those leaves that are, will be littering the road. So just keep that in mind this morning. Just use some extra caution as you head out and about. So temperature-wise, that's going to be the other story today. Yesterday, we did still see the middle and upper 70s this morning. It's a mild start, but the problem is temperatures are actually going to start dropping a little bit as the day wears on. 57 degrees right now, but looking off to the west, 44 Chicago, 40 in Madison. Look off to the west here, Cedar Rapids at 32 degrees. So there is some chilly air that is on the way. By tomorrow morning, we could have some spots getting close to the freezing mark. So again, big changes as we look at our sky cast this morning, a few of those showers moving through. Here's kind of the back edge of everything around the middle part of the day. Here's 12 p.m. And still a few showers on the radar. But once we get to about 2 o'clock or so, all of this should be out of here. Drier and cooler air will be invading the area this afternoon. As we look at those temperatures that will be falling into the upper 40s and low 50s for much of the afternoon hours. And we will have a bit of a gusty wind, gusting 25 to 30 miles per hour coming in from the northwest. But watch tonight. We're going to see the clouds move out. We're going to see the wind start to really lighten up after sunset. So it's all going to allow for a chilly night here. Temperatures down to the middle 30s as we make our way into early tomorrow. But those winds getting a light enough, I think we could have a few areas of patchy frost early on our day Thursday. Now, the good news is tomorrow we'll have quite a bit of sunshine around, so that will make things certainly feel a little bit better. We'll have temperatures tomorrow around double nickels here in Lima at 55 degrees. And overall, that's very seasonable for this time of the year. Normal high would be in the upper 50s for this point in October. And then tomorrow night for the city of Lima, we've got trick-or-treating. And the weather looks good. Can't complain with this forecast. Light winds, dry skies. Numbers will be down around 50 degrees. So look at your seven-day forecast. Looking ahead toward the weekend. Temperatures will moderate a little bit here. We're up to 61 on Friday. Just a few clouds Friday morning, sunny skies Friday afternoon. But look at Saturday, while it will be a chilly start, we'll have sunny skies get us up to 65 degrees. It looks like rain will hold off until Sunday evening. And then next week, we see a mild weather pattern here. Highs upper 60s near 70 by next Wednesday. Not a lot to complain about with that forecast. Right. For this time of year, we'll take That's it. Pretty good one, thanks.